Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I was inspired by Arkansas Woodcutter Mark over there. Did a little video on basically just cleaning up, um, washing out all his uh, starter pots and things like that. And it kind of spurred me to maybe take a crack at my shed. So uh, let's get to it. I think this is going to be the true shed wars. Me versus my shed. So the thing about a shed is, you only have so much square footage to use up. And you need to put all of the things in it. All right, well that was a daunting task. There was a lot of stuff out there. Um, we still have a few things that I'm trying to get rid of on the local buy and sell and whatnot, but um, for the most part, it's done. better still some stuff to throw out but much 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 better actually put my stuff inside i'm gonna call that the rolly wall floor space ultra cool and they even got this old chair i didn't even know it was in here pretty neat now i know this isn't about the shed but since i presented that shed at the very start of all of this, I, um, I figured I needed to redeem myself anyway. So it's nice and cool in here. I can come in here and have a seat, play my gardening outside or whatever, listen to the birds, you know, just hang out and enjoy life a little bit. Okay, I'm really super proud of this setup that I've got here. Um, the boys have a pool out in the backyard. It's like a 16 foot above ground pool. And what we did was we hooked up um, about 200 feet of irrigation line, rolled it all up, uh, mounted it on a frame, mounted it on top of the shed, and then would circulate water through it very slowly um, from the pool and let the sun heat it up. So it, it worked quite well. It could have been bigger capacity hose, but... Um, it worked pretty good it did raise the temperature of the pool by about five to six degrees so it made you know from the difference of you know cold <laughs> uh, to you know tolerable anyways so um, this is going to be the last year uh, that they're going to have the pool up we talked to them and that they don't want it anymore so um, when I was cleaning out the shed I found the jacuzzi pump and all the hoses for it so instead of hooking that up this year because they're old enough now that they can just suck it up um, I'm gonna do something different with it so on my water tank system over here um, you can see right in the middle there I got the jacuzzi pump and plumbed into the bottom of the one tank anyways now right here there's a T there so I'll plumb that in later to that side but I can just take that one on the left and flip it over to the right like it, it's all movable so let's get up and show you here so the long hose this conglomeration of valves really isn't important it's only that one that I'm using so this one has got it's just gonna be blocked off and it'll be nothing so the pressure hose runs around to the other side I got a little bracket on there and that's hooked Oop, lawnmower's in the way and that's hooked to the garden hose so I'm gonna stick a sprinkler on this and um, fire it up I just charged it all just with the valve open just to make sure everything was full so you guys get to see the first fire of this thing all right so I'm gonna have a couple leaks to fix down here but that's a later date so turn the valve on full turn this valve on to full and then we come over here just a few feet away and plug that in Have 
have rainwater. Top notch. So that's pretty cool. That'll be a nice welcome addition to um, our rainwater system. Now um, we're going to configure some eaves troughs around a little bit more and probably add a couple more tanks just so that we can be a little bit more drought ready but if you do collect rainwater or you want to that's something that you want to do um, definitely check with your local municipality bylaws if you live in town obviously and um, make sure that you can do that because I know some of them they don't allow it at all I got my first harvest of spinach and radishes the other day uh, cucumber bed they're just poking through now so that's pretty neat. This bucket of spinach is growing really nicely. The peas are starting to attach to the trellis. Still not much in the carrot row. Start to see a little bit of stuff poking through there. Um, Swiss chard is up, barely. Beans are just poking through. Which is about right, judging from the farmer's almanac, it says that when the blossoms fall off the apple trees, the beans should be coming up, so that's true. Um, my little buckets of Swiss chard, romaine lettuce, milk jugs, those are coming good. Another little patch of onions. The tomato or the potatoes yet, so that's all just nothing. Um, well, that was the cucumber bed there, but those all died, so we're gonna wait and see what happens in the hoop house so we can transplant some stuff out. Uh, a few little odds and sods in there. makeshift hoop house for my zucchini plants. Uh, kind of got this off of Prairie Plant Girl. She did um, a thing where she cut smaller pieces of the same type of hooping and then snapped it over top to hold the plastic in place. So that actually works pretty good. Need stiffer plastic, but that's working. Uh, sunflowers just poke through here we've had some really hot weather the last couple days it's been well hot for us so it's I think it was about 85 or 6 yesterday so that's pretty neat and then I got uh, a couple more little garden markers and then things in the hoop house are growing like crazy So that's it just watch it the gardens grow it's nice to see things poking through like that so it makes us think we uh what we're doing is right so anyways thanks for watching appreciate you all god bless and we'll see you for the next one